It's nice to see you after the match. First of all, congratulations with the victory. Well deserved, 3-0 at home, and this is your first victory in this qualification cycle. It's just the beginning of the road. So you're 2019, and maybe you could evaluate this match and uh, your thoughts after such a game. What uh, components were the most decisive today where you got the victory? Well, I think, first of all, whenever you play Latvia, you know it's going to be a very difficult game. Uh, you know that you're going to have to work for everything you got. Um, and it was very tight for long periods in the game, but uh, fortunately for us, we managed to to score the goals at good times. Um, but uh, I have to say, uh, you know, the, the the Latvian team never gave up, always kept running, always kept tackling, made it very difficult for us. Uh, and in the end, we're pleased uh, to to have a, a difficult game, two difficult games, and to come out with four points. Uh, what were the f main things you prepared for uh, when you analysed the Latvian team? Because it was a 1-1 against Ukraine and uh, what strengths and weaknesses you found out? Well, I think I think the strength of the uh, of the team is in the pack. Although you know you have you've all Dricky up front, who's a who's a, who's a good solid target man, and you try to play off him. You've also got players that are really willing to run and never stop running for each other. That's a massive thing, I think, for any team. Um, and we knew that uh, when you you would try and play, you would try and open us up. And for a period in the second half, you gave us some problems. Um, but uh, the, the, I, I think the main thing I can say is that uh, whenever we play you, you always give us problems because you always work so hard and you're always a difficult team to break down so we knew it would be difficult and uh, we, we got from you what we thought we would. The lads are starting their professional career only but they are already World Cup champions you know uh, how tough it is to motivate them to play against such teams like Latvia for example. Well if, they, if they're not motivated to play for the country they, then, they, then they don't play. We, we're very lucky we've got some good talent and some good depth and uh, the, the, the team on the on the bench is as good as the team on the pitch and for a coach that's a really nice place to be. Uh, you had a lot of opportunities uh, but you scored three goals, most of them it was uh, mistakes from our, goal, uh, our goalkeeper. Uh, well, how deserved uh, y you think this victory is? Uh, let's take into consideration that you had many chances but you scored only three goals. You, know, you mean, did you find out during the game that this uh, result was under the danger or not? Well, it's always uh, it's always dangerous until you win. Um, but the, yeah, I agree about the goalkeeper. He, he, he made three fantastic saves, were pulling the ball out the top corner. But the, the, the goals that we scored were ones he maybe thought that he could have got. But you know, if it takes one goal or two goals or three goals, we, we were we will take whatever we can get because we know nobody gives you any opportunities. I believe Team England always sets the highest goals, uh, victory in every match, but uh, if we evaluate this qualification group, which opponents you see as the toughest ones for your team? The next one. The next one. They're always the next one. I think if you get too carried away and look too far ahead, then you end up, f football has a habit of, uh, of, of punching you in the face. So we'll make sure we focus on our next game. Our next game is Scotland uh, at Middlesbrough. Um, they've got a really good result tonight against the Dutch. Um, so it, t it makes it up for an early, um, an early game, an early derby game against uh, one of our old enemies. Well, thank you very much and looking forward to see you in Latvia next year. Look forward to seeing you too. Thank you.